Hope you guys don't mind, but this week is going to be a little bit scuffed. <sighs> well, hello. hello nice. Welcome back to my amazing friends and welcome to those who are new. I'm going to level with you guys. I am kind of struggling this week. I am not filming this until Monday. Yes, the day before this video goes out and I like to film these the week before so I have time to edit, but uh, you know, life. Gee, thanks. Also, we are getting dangerously close to my monthly blood moon. Blood moon rises once again. You know, struggle bussin'. So even though this week's video is a little bit slapped together, I still wanted it to be helpful. So this is actually going to help check a few boxes with regard to some videos that I wanted to make. First of all, I'm going to be reviewing some of my favorite brands that I've worked with, as well as I'm going to be pointing you guys in the direction of where you can get some whimsical aesthetic fairy core, cottage core, the general cores that we uh, tend to circle around, uh, where you can find those types of items in the realm of small businesses or medium-sized businesses. Basically, not Jeff Bezos. Jeffrey Bezos. And even though quite a few of these brands have sent me these items for free in exchange for content in the past, these are still brands that I genuinely would spend my own money at. In fact, I was quite tickled pink that they reached out to me and wanted to work with me. So this is a genuine review. I am not getting paid. In fact, my contract or my content that I have made for these brands, it's already done. Like our deal is is done. So this is my, this is my legitimate impressions, opinions, all that jazz on these, these brands. I lied slightly. Some of these items are somewhat new to me and I haven't made the content yet, but I've worked with them in the past. And the reason why I chose to work with them again was because I really liked them and I was super excited to get more stuff. There we go. Full transparency, full honesty, not sponsored. Some of them are affiliate links, but even if they weren't affiliate links, I would be sharing them. Again, the reason why we are doing this is because not all of these pieces are thriftable, if that makes sense. Now on this channel, we're all about the thrift. In fact, my biggest playlist is thrift hauls or thrift with me's. But when it comes to specialty items, when it comes to like super niche, unique items, it can be really hard to find those things. So I can't really create a guide on how to find those things. Now in the future, we will be thrift flipping. So I'll be teaching you guys, or at least I will be learning along with you guys on how to transform everyday items into more whimsical fantasy items. But in the meantime, I will be showing you guys some specialty, special, that's a, that's a hard word for me. All words are hard for me to say. Specialty shops where you can find some really cool stuff to either implement into your everyday wardrobe or for costumey, cosplay, Ren fair garb, etc. Now these things are in a range of weird. Some things are pretty normal, some things are pretty weird. Good weird though. We're talking like cool weird. Like people are going to be like, who is she? Who is he? Who are they? The first thing I'm going to start with is probably the least weird, like the most normal. I don't think they're really considered a small business. I think they're more of a medium business. They're more indie than say like Hot Topic. And that is Heroes and Villains. Now I've worked with them for a couple months in a row. I originally bought some of their stuff, tagged them, and then they reached out to me. And now I'm like doing periodic PR package stuff and I'm an affiliate. So this is one of my most recent acquisitions. It is a Mimic t-shirt. As you guys know, I really like their D&D merch. And every time I wear their stuff, the sweatshirts that I've gotten in the past, the t-shirt, people are always asking me where I get them, which is great because I can plug my, my link. And I actually wore this to the Dungeons and Dragons movie. Not the premiere, because I'm not that special. I went matinee but I went with my friend Sarah and it was super fun and yeah so I really love this shirt I think I got a medium the next thing I actually got this I haven't made any content with this yet it's another D&D &D item and it's not not a clothing item so it's a little bit out of our wheelhouse here but I'm still gonna show it because it's super cool this is a travel blanket so kind of like a uh, like a sleeping bag it folds up and is like attached to this bag I have not opened this yet so let's open this up and take a look see shall we it's just like a super thin duvet. You could probably keep this in your car. And that was my soda. God dang. Welcome if you're new. Things never go as planned. But yeah, blanket. And now I'm gonna, I'm gonna go get some paper towels. Good thing I keep paper towels at hand because I'm always spilling stuff. I also got a couple more t-shirts. This time instead of d and I went for Star Wars because we all know the new season of Mandalorian is currently running and I am super behind. So no spoilers. First t-shirt has the Mandos on it. And again, I got a, I got a men's medium because I like, I like it baggy. 
especially with leggings, which is pretty much what I wear all the time because I am a basic white girl. For some reason, decided to get another cream t-shirt, but I thought this was really cool. It kind of looks like a nature t-shirt. And then I did get one last d and item, but instead of clothing, I went for an accessory. I got this backpack and this will be really cool for traveling because I always bring like a backpack as my personal item and it has a lot of different pockets and apparently you can use this to put your dice in. Now I'm not an avid D&D player, even though I have the merch, I'm trying to get back into it. Um, I don't have a group currently because my other group kind of just like, it has, where is it? How do you do this? It has the thingy. This was like attached on the inside like it clipped to the inside. It's like a portable, but it's what you roll your dice in. A little tray. Yeah, it has the dividers in it. It's really cool. This is kind of turning into a haul right now. I apologize. I'm supposed to be showing you like what brands you can get cool stuff for your whimsical wardrobe. And right now I'm just doing a haul, but it's okay. We're moving on. One of my favorite small businesses and I also consider the owner one of my friends because we follow each other on Instagram and we're always talking and we actually are going to be planning a giveaway for my 10K special slash Q&A. So that is super exciting. So if you guys like this stuff, please keep an eye out for that. But I have sung the praises of her leaf belt bags so many times and she saw my recent video about how to dress fantasy casual and she really liked it. So she sent me some more leaf belt bags because she knows how much I love the one that I have the green one. So I got a chocolatey brown, a reddish brown, like an autumn red, and then a black. And with the black, she also sent me one of her belts because I told her I don't really have any black belts. So she sent me one of her belts, but she didn't stop there. She didn't stop there. She also sent me some skirt hikes, which you guys know I love skirt hikes. I even made some of my own. So now I have even more to add to my repertoire for my costume collection, which you could even rock these like casual. Like if you're wearing a maxi skirt, wearing like a um, whimsa goth or a grunge outfit and you're wearing a maxi skirt and you want to like have that hike up moment, that would be super Super cool. I should do that for a video. I'm going to show you guys the other items I have from her that I love. I recently used this as my purse when I went on some photo shoots because it kind of like blends in with the theme of my photo shoots. And that is my leaf backpack purse. It's like a good size for a purse, honestly, because I bring anything and everything with me. One of the videos where I was using this uh, went viral and everyone was asking me where this bag was from and I could not respond to everyone. And I tried doing stories and like pinning stuff and people still are asking me where it's from. So Leafling bags, link below. And we also have somewhere the OG leaf belt bag, which matches. And speaking of matching, I also have one of her satchels and it matches this. So I've got a little set going on right here. So leaf bag, belt bag, skirt hike. So yeah, I really love Leafling Bag. She's super sweet for sending me these items. So definitely keep an eye out for the giveaway. I believe it's gonna be a hundred euro. It's gonna be a gift card. We are gonna be doing that in the Q and A slash room tour. Y'all gotta give me a little bit though. I gotta clean this room. It's a mess. So yeah, if you're looking for like a forest fairy vibe of accessories, I definitely recommend Leafling Bag. These bags come in like a bunch of different colors. So, and then the next brand I have probably worked with the most and I absolutely love their pieces, especially for Ren Fair. They have the coolest bodices. So you guys might've recognized this one from when I went to the Folsom Ren Fair last year. It is this mushroom print. So what I really love about their bodices is they're super comfy. They're not boned, so you don't you won't feel constricted. Um, they're also lace up in the back and the front, so they're easily adjustable. There's a, there's a little bit of a range in the sizing. I'm a size small in most of their bodices. It's hard for me to choose which ones are my favorite because I also really love the poppy one. I got, I've gotten a lot of use out of this one as well. I, I've, I think I've worn most of these to Ren Fairs. So there's this one. And then I haven't worn this to a Ren Fair, but I've worn it to several photo shoots. There is this leaf and butterfly tapestry one. And in addition to bodices, like they have a whole bunch of different things. They have chemises, capes, shirts, skirts. Another thing they have are hair accessories. They have the coolest hair accessories. So these are my little antler clips. 
people always ask me where I get them. So yeah, if you were just wanting to kind of start small and implement some like fantasy accessories, I definitely recommend them because like it's so stinking cute, right? And then in addition to that, they also have these dance wings. So these aren't like those wings that like stick out of your bodice, like the ones that stick up. These are more like capes. So here is a moth pair. I haven't actually had a chance to shoot with these yet, but like look how gorgeous this is. So you just tie it. You can tie it different ways, but you could just tie it around your neck like, like it's a cape. Um, the ones that I've gotten the most use out of are the cicada wing ones, and these have a little bit of wire in them so that you can actually hold them out and they'll keep their shape, which is super cool. Again, I've used these several times and they're just... They're so cool. These would actually be really good for Ren Faire because they're not like sticking out. One thing that I struggle with with my more rigid wings is that I bump into people a lot, especially when it's a really crowded fair. So those are nice. They're a little bit more comfortable when there's a, a crowd. Another thing that I really love about them is that their packaging is super cute. Like, look at this. It's like a book. And then this isn't technically Costa Real Real, even though it says it on the inside. This is actually from their sister brand, Uchronic Time, which is a little bit more steampunk and goth. But I also have this bodice, which is a leather studded bodice. It is so cool. The only downside is it makes you sweat, man. So this is definitely a photo shoot bodice. I don't, I wouldn't wear this to fairs. And since they are more like goth steampunk, they have a lot of really cool leather accessories. This is one of my favorite favorite accessories for Ren Faire because it is a fan holster, which having a fan handy, no matter what season it is, it's so useful because if you're in an indoor area and it's really stuffy and you need to fan yourself, this is great. Or if you're going to Ren Faire in the summertime and it's going to be really hot, this is essential. You need a fan and having a fan holster, it's so handy. It's really cool. It has this like embossing on it. So yeah, it's got a little bit of a steampunk moment. And speaking of steampunk, they at one point also sent me a really cool leather pouch. Now I, I will admit I reached for my Leafling bags one more because this one is super tiny and it can't really fit my phone or anything that like I'm gonna be reaching for. However, in the future when I'm carrying maybe like business cards or something, I might put this one on my belt because it is a good size for that. And they also have really cool harnesses too. So if you're into harnesses, for accessories instead of bodices. Now this is super tangled up. I'm gonna put a picture up. Um, this one is super cool because it has these velvet laces that you can like tie around in different configurations. And it adds a little pop of color, especially if you're wearing a more monochrome or dark outfit, which is how I styled this. And when I, this was also one of the items they sent with this package back when I collabed with them last year. It's this really cool like matte print kimono. And so I had styled this with the black dress and the harness and it's it's just so cool. And again, this is something that you can style every day. It's not like a specifically a costume piece. So they have quite a few different pieces like that. They also have, I think like matte print skirts. I believe there's tops as well. I can't remember, but they're a super cool brand as well. And both brands, I would say in terms of price, they're more mid tier. They're not super expensive like French Meadows, which by the way, French Meadows is worth it. They're super good, but these are a little bit more middle ground. Um, I believe the bodices are around around 80 to $100, but you're gonna get a lot of bang for your buck here because they're gonna last a long time. They're super thick and durable, but they're also comfortable, so you're more likely to reach for them when you're going to events rather than a super like boned, constricted bodice. It's gonna make you feel like you're sucked in. So I highly recommend them. Every time they reach out to me to collaborate, collab collaborate, I can say words, I get super excited and I can't wait to work with them more as they come out with new pieces. Now, before I move on to the next brand, I wanna show you guys how I actually store these items because this is a lot of different accessories and pieces. So I have recently started thrifting cool boxes and these are two boxes that I use for my accessories and my, my bodices that I, I got from the bins. Yes, I got these from the Goodwill bins and these are two of my favorite boxes. They usually go up on my shelf and then I have a couple other boxes down there which I will insert a clip so I don't have to go down digging for it. But that's how I organize all of my costumey pieces and fantasy apparel. Okay, so we're at the second to last brand so we're trucking along. The next brand that I really like that is super whimsical and cute is Camp Hollow, which if you haven't heard of Camp Hollow, they are these really pretty little porcelain necklaces and and um, jewelry pieces. And this is just one of many that I have been sent by them. This one's like a little fox. And one of the coolest things about them is that they come in these little 
book boxes. I don't know about you guys, but I both love it and hate it when packaging is super beautiful. I love it because then I want to keep it, but I also hate it because then I want to keep it. With these, I, I, I keep all these boxes because once you have a collection, you have a little bookshelf of, uh, of little books. Here are a couple of newer pieces that they've sent to me that I still need to style and make a video for them. There's this little deer and then a little owl. And again, I, I have a thing for thick books, boxes that look like books, because it could just be chilling on your shelf and it's like, oh, it's just an ordinary book, nothing to see here. And then you open it and you're like, ha, hidden knife. And then last, but certainly not least, I'm going to talk about Sondaflor. I have kind of a uh, collection of Sondaflor dresses. So I'm gonna show you guys these dresses and talk about why I love them. Now, if you are leaning more cottagecore rather than fantasy, because I know some of you are into the fantasy stuff, some of y'all are not, you're here for the cottagecore vibes and the thrifting, and I hear ya, I hear ya. What I love about Sondaflor is that they are super versatile. So I know a lot of different people in different niches around each other. Like some people are more cottagecore, some people are more fantasy, some people are somewhere in between, and we all love Sondaflor, let me tell you, because they are basic staples that you can build any outfit off of. They are investment pieces, they are quite expensive, but they are worth it. Now they are made with 100% linen, they are ethically made and ethically sourced, and it is a company ran by women. You know, your money is going towards something something good. And they're just gorgeous, honestly. Like, look at this. This is nothing more cottagecore than this. Well, maybe, but it's debatable. It's an objective opinion. This was the very first Sonda Floor dress that I got. I believe it is called the Nicole, and, and I get the full length dresses, and they fit me a little bit longer than midi dresses, but not quite maxi. I am five foot four, so if that helps you. I believe if I were to get the mini dresses, they would probably fit me at my knee rather than at my thigh, but I have yet to test that. Maybe my next dress I get from them will be one of their minis and I will I will report back. But yeah, this was the first one that I got. I love this one because it is very autumnal, but it could also work spring if you like added some more springy colors. And then this was one that I this was one that I got in the autumn time. This is their plaid one, which look at that print. So cool. This is their long sleeve basic dress, and this is also the long one. Now they all have pockets, which is great. Inside the pocket, you get a little scroll. In addition to like the sleeved dresses, they also have these sundresses which can be worn as a pinafore or you can wear it as a sundress which I've done both so this is I believe the marigold color of the pinafore and it buttons on the side very very versatile so that could be like hobbity or it could be cottagecore whatever you want man and this is what it looks like in another print this is the print that came out last year and I have to say this one's my favorite I look amazing in this pink this is my pink I wore this both as a sundress and I wore it as a pinafore last year and I've worn it a lot since then. It is like one of my go-to pieces. My other absolute favorite was also a piece that dropped last year and is this dress. Look at that print. You can't tell me that's not gorgeous. So again, this could be hobbity, this could be cottage core, this could be any of the core fantasy because I feel like it's got the collar, which is a little bit more modern. If you wanted to go for more of a, like a, a fantasy look, I would probably get one of the pinafores and then layer it with a peasant blouse. But if you are not picky about that, about um, historical accuracy, which we are not on this channel. I sometimes people like to correct my historical knowledge and I'm like, bestie, I know nothing. I know no I never claim to know anything. One last one to show off. They came out with this print last year as well in the autumn time. They have this both in, I don't know if they still have it, if it's been restocked or not, don't quote me on that. But they have this smaller version of the print or they had a little bit of like a larger version of the print. And just like the plaid one, this is the basic style dress and it is the long sleeve. Anywho's, those are some of the favorite brands that I have worked with within the last year or two and ones that I will sing their praises until, until the world ends or until I end. I hope this helps. I hope this gives you guys an idea of where your money is worth it, where it is worth for you to invest when it comes to pieces that you love, that you know you're gonna get use out of, that brings you joy, that's gonna fit your vibe, all of that. That stuff if you are into the things that I am into. Let me know down in the comments if you guys would like me to continue this series to talk about the different brands that I've worked with. I'm going to have the opportunity to work with some more small businesses, like even smaller shops, like one person shops 
pretty soon. I can definitely make this a series where I kind of recap my favorite brands that I've worked with that I recommend for you guys if you're looking for whimsical, unique pieces to introduce to your wardrobe. I can definitely do that. I also would like to do this for like home decor and like less clothing pieces, but as it stands now, I've only worked with, I believe one brand, it was just candles. Um, so maybe in the future, if more opportunities open up, I can do that as well. I appreciate you guys so much and I hope that next week's video will be a lot better and a lot more well-planned and a lot less chaotic. But we're gonna be honest, it's never not chaotic here because this, this is chaos. Make sure you guys like the video. Make sure you hit subscribe if you're not subscribed. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you you're gonna love it here. And uh, yeah, hopefully next week's video will, will, will it, it's gonna be better. It's gonna be better. Okay, bye.